Bernard Durkin, what's your reaction to the points made? I think it's a good start. I think it's the first uh, positive sign of, of government uh, tackling uh, the housing crisis, which has developed over a number of years. And, uh, you know, in, in the previous five years, it wasn't possible because there was very little resources available. Oh, geez, and, 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 and you can't well, can throw out that old one. I know, I know, story. I know, I know, he decided to give the money to the bond holders and he no, decided no, no, to no, tell no, the homeless no, no, to get no, no, on with it. I'm sorry for upsetting you. But there were for upsetting you there. But the allergies, you have to overcome your allergies at this stage. The fact of the matter is that for 15 years there was a housing crisis going. It didn't happen overnight, it was there during the boom. I take and it, it, it in fact accelerated during the boom. And the quality of the houses built during the boom is a classic but example of what, what happens. Are you what saying, happens, are you what saying happens that when people try to do things Are you saying that during the... I, I, no, just, I just want to pose the question, if you don't mind. Are you saying that during the, the Fine Gael, uh, led government from 2011 to 2016 that there wasn't manifest neglect uh, of social housing. Well, what I'm saying is that for 15, 20, for 15 no, or 20... I'm asking you a No, I'm sorry, question. you see, you, you interrupted, you, I was the only person you interrupted, but we won't go there for just a moment. But what I, what I will say is this, that I would have expected that you would have known, as everybody else knows, that during the boom, there was an opportunity to meet any eventualities that were likely to arise in terms of shortage of housing, and it didn't happen. The quality of houses provided, as has already been illustrated, weren't, um, wasn't of the quality that we would have expected of, of, um, with, with all the modern technology that's available. Now we have learned, I hope we've learned, as a country, I hope we've learned as a country, and there's no use harking back to the bond holders and nonsense like that. The fact of the matter is this, we are where we are now and we move on from okay. here. So we, we, we have we have established at least that there's a need, a serious need. I don't know whether it's 120,000, 130,000 or 99,000, but whatever it is, we have to start somewhere and we're starting on the right ba on, from the right base, I believe. I think we, is this we, kind of it's, a combination, it's a combination of direct build by the local authorities, of acquisition of existing houses on the market and uh, utilizing them and, <clears throat> and ensuring that sufficient funds are made available to ensure that the targets are met. I think that's already been and done. Here's, here's and the I think weakness I, in I, all I, the I, programs, I, there, aren't, there aren't sufficient funds. So if you look at, for example, there, are, there aren't. If you look at uh, <coughs> government investment in social housing this year and last year, it's at the lowest level it's been for decades. All government is proposing to do next year is increase it by 150 million euros. That will get you a, a very small number of additional units. So one of the reasons why the figures that we're looking at today are still very anemic. It, it seems to me there's, 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 there's a lot of public confusion. If you don't mind me saying so, I just want to say this point. Okay. There's a lot of public confusion. There are 140,000 people on the waiting list. Right. 140,000 families on the yeah, waiting list. Yeah, well, we don't no, have no, uh, It doesn't mean, though, that there are 140,000 units <coughs> demanded right now. It means that something in the region of about 70,000 units should clear that entire list. But even if uh, uh, over the next, uh, the course of your plan, you deliver 75,000 units, you're going to have an inflow. There is, no, there is no proposal in the government's plan to produce 75,000 units. In fact, if you look at the plan in terms of social housing provision over the six-year period, 45, it? It, 47, but about 10,000 of those are private units leased. So okay. you're actually talking about 36,000. Just, just I want to do with that. That's really important. So, Bernard and I both sat in the Dáil Housing and yes. Homelessness Committee. We recommended that the state should increase its social housing stock by a minimum of 10,000 units a so year. So you're saying that 35,000 units... This plan, this plan will probably deliver about 6,000 units a year every year, so it's 40% short of the minimum proposals that Bernard and I signed up to. Even in the to housing and we and and we that, wouldn't, that wouldn't clear the list, it would just remove the most acute end over a five to six year period. Yeah, well, do, 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 do you buy that? I know I don't. So. Uh, and, 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 Why don't you? Uh, um, so we, no, we, we, agreed, we agreed on how to deal with the problem. And we agreed we also. 10, 000, we, we, 10, also we also, new no, social no, no, we also year, agreed that year. it would be an accelerated program that it would start off um, from a low base. But an average, we only start on an average. average, 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 average I, believe the average I believe we'll exceed the average that you have anticipated. And I think one of the most important things there is the government has clearly you indicated that, says you that, that it will not be impeded and by money, shortage money of funding. Invested, Robert, no, it will not be impeded by shortage of funding, and that has been emphasised again and again by the minister by the Taoiseach and by various members Robert of the Robert Trier. Just in relation to uh, the, the shortage of funding that Brendan alludes to, uh, the Taoiseach in reply to, or to question time in, in the Dáil recently has actually acknowledged that the vast majority of the 200 million fund is not actually going to be 
made available to 2017. So we're already waiting six months for some of that fund to become available. And another point that Brent Bernard made in relation to this problem has been manifesting for a number of years. In 2007 to 2011, when we were in the middle of a crisis as well, the previous government, through local authorities, built 13,500 Social houses, which is really short of what which, was required. Well, it was even short. It was a lot better than the 1,500 to cheap bills in the four years. Really short the part five, in, and, and then that's the very excuse me, Bernard. Excuse me, I was interrupted. But I didn't. Did I interrupt you? Did I interrupt you? Can you come back? That's good. During the same period, the part five. Um, generated 16,500 units during right. that same period. Briefly and, and, and unfortunately, when this government came into office, the first thing they did, right. did was to reduce the Part 5 uh, from 20% down to 10%, we, 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 we brief response need permit. that back up to 20%. I mean, I mean, brief response. Brief response. On, that that was my dissertation, but I want, to, I want to say simply this, that when we had funds and we had the availability of funds during the boom times, nothing was done. And it is a fact of life. All right. There's not any shadow of doubt. All right. But you that the, 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 the waiting lists were growing and there were 100,000 families on the list, on the housing list of this country when the government came into office in 2011. Right. And, that was that was boom. and that was after a boom. And there was no money when the, when the new government came into office. And we can Talk about the there, money. Comes back. there was, there was money. no money actually. And, 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 and unless, no, unless somebody please. has withheld information oh, from me, because I, I thought oh. that the European Central Bank and every other lender on in the, in, in the globe was right. lending to us in order to save us from, ex, uh, from extermination. Dear General Lian, aren't there uh, the, the impediments and the other structural issues uh, um, that you referred to earlier, aren't they real too? The, the banking crisis. The, the unwillingness of the banks to, to lend money. I heard a woman today talking about uh, herself and her partner in full-time full -time occupation. Funny, and she couldn't get even mortgage. get a mortgage yes. of 80,000, yes. uh, which would have reduced her rental from something like 900 quid uh, a month down to 400 quid a month. I mean, this is absolute. And now with the stress tests uh, indicating uh, danger, if there was a, 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 a collapse in the economy again, and it's going to get even tighter, isn't and it? And affordability, is, uh, affordability is a central part of the government's action plan. There's a commitment to uh, carrying out a proper analysis to benchmark construction costs. Mm -hmm. uh, the minister has issued a challenge uh, to designers and contractors to come up with a house that can be built for €200,000 mm -hmm. or less. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, the Construction Industry Federation is calling for the... the relaxation of the central bank rules, but I think a lot of commentators and economists would acknowledge that the central bank rules have contributed to adapting the market. But the problem is the problem is supply. And what I've been trying to say through my research and whenever I've spoken publicly for the last few years is that we can't embark on a tsunami of house building without learning the lessons of what we did last time. Mm -hmm. And if there's funding available for all of these initiatives in the action plan, I'd like to see funding available to help people who still have defects it's in their homes. Two, two things I want to put to you, to you on. In your um, policy statement, you're in, you try to enhance, and rightly too, the, uh, the rights of people uh, renting. Mm. But should it not be state policy to encourage everybody in the state to own their own house? Because, I mean, what's going 60% of our people have no pension plans mm. when it comes to retirement. What happens if we encourage people to rent and they come to retirement Who's going to pay their rent for them? What you need is you need a stable housing system that allows people to buy affordable homes, that allows people to access social homes who can't buy and who can't rent. <coughs> but you also need an appropriate level of rental accommodation for those people who want to rent either for short periods of time or for lengthy periods of time. And if you look at other good European housing systems, they have that mixture right. What we're saying in terms of the rental sector is, is our rental sector, like all the other sectors of the housing system, is completely dysfunctional. It's bad for landlords. It's bad for tenants. It doesn't work. And in fact, one of the most disappointing aspects of Simon Coveney's plan is that rather than actually coming but up with concrete do, proposals in relation to that, about why not have it a state touch? policy to encourage because, people to because own their own you, homes? Because you need... A, an appropriate portion of your housing system for rent. Yes, it is the most but, sensible. But even the approach. housing uh, association chairman says he'll never buy a house again, which which seems all right if you have a fat pension at the end of your retirement. It does, uh, but, Robert. What do you make? But, but can I, I just say other, yes, other, other other European countries manage to deal with that issue, including the issue of what happens to people when they reach pension age and they're still paying rent. So that those problems can be resolved. Still involve but only, the state paying, but paying only, the rent. But only if you properly regulate your private rental market. And also you give people uh, the real option either to be able to purchase affordable homes Robert, or to access good quality social housing. It's true, the rental market is totally dysfunctional at the moment. And I think, you know, 
given the crisis that we have at the moment, we do need to bring in a rent certainty so that people who are renting have certainty in terms of the rent that they're paying. Have you uh, voted against the Sinn Féin rent certainty? No, 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 can I make the point? Briefly. What you were trying to do was politically grandstanding. That came out in advance. That came out in advance. You could have voted for the rent certainty bill. That could have voted for the bill. You could have voted for the bill and saved working families a thousand to two thousand a year. Oh, and Robert Chilton. Can I just ask you now? Just to put your put, put, no, no, I just want to finish this discussion now. John Halligan uh, made a few points in that, uh, in that interview with uh, Hot Press uh, and also um, uh, in today's papers as well, copied on. Um, and I just want you to take off your political hats now for a second. Could you manage that? For, we're going into the Olympics. We're going to enjoy ourselves a nice weekend. We'll put on a green jersey. Okay, okay. I'm going to ask you yes or no questions now. <laughs> yes or no questions. Three key, uh, the four key points we made. Legislate for brothels in favour of. Yes or no? No. No. No, Robert. No. 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 John, I'm afraid you're out of that one. Believe in God. I don't. I do. I don't. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm easy. I don't. I, I'm not an, an unbeliever, but uh, I'm, you're not sure. I'm, I'm, well, you could you could say that, I suppose, nowadays. Yeah. yeah we we'll wait to see. Well, we'll you're not sure. We we'll wait and see. Okay. Are there aliens um, on? There are a few lurking around Leinster House on back benches, I tell you. But I know what I mean. I'd like to see evidence of extraterrestrial life. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't believe in aliens. I don't believe in aliens. I <laughs> You're not sure either about that. <laughs> there could be. There could be. Could be. Okay. There could be. There could be. Parliament you, you, you're quite open-minded on oh, this. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, repeal the eighth. Absolutely. It, w it will be. Will it be repealed, do you think? Uh, it, 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 not only will it be, but it has to be. The issue yeah. is when. You? Robert? Uh, I won't be voting to repeal the 8th, but okay. I do believe it should be yes, put to no. the country. I'll be voting to repeal the 8th. Yes. And Bernard? I will await the outcome of the, the convention. Yes, I don't know again. 